I don't like the relationship between affirmative action and the progressive stack. I think both concepts are shit, and both of them kind of do things in a similar way. I am so, so highly against adding more demographics to affirmative action. I, I think affirmative action is shit all the way around. The idea that we should consider someone based on their demographics first is ridiculous. The idea that we should allow someone to speak first because of the demographics they fit, I think is bullshit. And especially with the way that it's that it's turned into at colleges where it's not even the regular progressive stack. It's something where, well, you know, as a gay man, um, I don't get to have the right to a platform because, well, I'm not oppressed enough. Oh, no, fuck the oppression Olympics, okay? And before someone tries to get on my case for saying, well, affirmative action isn't what you're saying. Okay, let's, let's go to the first, the, the first result when I type in affirmative action. Noun, North American. Okay, an action or policy favoring those who tend to suffer from discrimination, especially in relation to employment or education. It is positive discrimination. Positive discrimination. Interesting. Interesting. Positive discrimination. So it's positive because uh, it's someone that isn't a cis, white, uh, straight male. So it's positive. All right. I just don't think we should be, be discriminating in general for that sort of thing. Don't discriminate against someone's uh, demographics. That's how it should go. You know, skill, knowledge, uh, uh, history, those types of things, that should be why someone gets hired or why someone uh, gets uh, housing first or why someone is chosen at a college first, you know, to, to be able to go to a college first or any of that sort of thing. Uh, when it comes to speaking, you know, content first, not uh, demographics first. Let your work speak for you, not your damn demographic. Stupid shit. And something I was thinking about is how, since this progressive stack mindset, this the social justice warrior thing, the other feels phobia thing, the intersectional third wave feminist thing has hijacked the gay rights movement. Um, since we now have uh, federally uh, legalized gay marriage, it's like, oh, well, your fight is over. Now you need to fight for women. You need to fight for women. You need to fight for women. Women. Women who are so oppressed, they're so oppressed. No, you're, you actually have some privilege. That's what some of men's rights activists try to talk about. Um, we bend over backwards for women in a lot of cases. Um, there are certainly no rights that men have that women don't. Now, one person tried to t tell me, oh, well, uh, uh, what, what, uh, what rights do, do Christians have that atheists don't? And my answer was, well, none, at least unless you're going to talk about the states in which we give religious people special rights to discriminate. And then in that regard, you know, we're giving religious people special rights. Um, but other than that, no. It's not legal to fire someone because they say they're an atheist. They can attempt to do that, but then you can take them to court and sue the fuck out of them. But, but since, you know, the whole SJW thing has taken over the, uh, has, has uh, hijacked the gay rights movement, 
what what push has there been for anti-discrimination laws to be put into place in the many, many states that still don't have anti-discrimination laws. Where has that push been? Well, it's nowhere. It's nowhere. We're supposed to focus on women because women just have it so terrible. It's just so awful. We should all take uh, gender studies classes so we can talk about how uh, these these uh, inequalities instead of actually working towards getting rid of inequalities no we're supposed to just demonize everyone else and uh, that will take care of it and then add women and other demographics to affirmative action and that will take care of it no no What happened to the sexual revolution that was happening in the 90s? Oh, well, that was killed by feminism. Because, you know, objectification is bad. What happened to being able to practically make out in public? You know, it used to only be the religious types that would say, well, you need to keep that at home. And I'm not talking about people sucking each other's dicks in public. Um, I'm just talking about just someone making out with someone, you know, deeply kissing and going like this up around someone's body or whatever, right? Well, you get the the religious people saying, well, you need to keep that at home. And then you have the feminists saying that uh, um, that's uh, inappropriate and, and puts uh, the objectification of people above all else. It's bad. Yeah. You know, in the gay community, no more catcalling other men. No more going up to a guy and saying you think they're hot. Because, you know, we need to be equal and uh, not, you know, make sure that we put the same standards as to what society says that we're supposed to treat women as to the way we treat other men. So no more of that. Let's enact more city ordinances like what we have in Seattle, where, you know, you can't show public affection in a place that serves alcohol. Um, yeah. What, what's happened to all this stuff? Well, you know, feminism and social justice warriorism. We need to be outraged at bathrooms. We need to be outraged because someone said something bad about feminism. We need to be outraged because someone doesn't consider someone who's trans um, an actual woman. That is a woman. Don't you dare say anything otherwise, otherwise you're transphobic. Just like some people try to push forth this idea that if you say that uh, being gay isn't genetic, then you're homophobic. Uh, no. In order for them to be homophobic, they would actually have to uh, believe that gay people should be discriminated against or they, should, they have some sort of hatred towards gay people or something like that. Do you know what creates homophobia? And I found this over the years. Is when you do consider those who uh, think it's that uh, gay, being gay is uh, mostly or even completely uh, nurture. To call those people homophobic, guess what? That creates homophobia. That creates hatred. And the stuff that's going on right now with trans issues, you're creating transphobic uh, people. And the stuff that feminists are shoving forth uh, about uh, a, a rape culture, yeah, you're creating misogynists. You're creating this stuff. You're saying either you're with me or you're a bigot. Well, guess what? Fuck you. I guess I'm a bigot, right? Have a nice day. <laughs>